What's up, guys? So, I wanted to quickly <coughs> uh, not show you all my mods, but show you this uh, one mod in particular. And uh, I find it down here. It's really something that I highly recommend. Actually, there's a couple, so let's go ahead and start with this. Uh, this Phenodrox, uh, Phenodrox Magic Evolved. Um, the 400 spells. I mean, this thing is absolutely amazing. I, I, I'm not doing any justice by talking, but uh, if you have PS4 and you need some good mods for Magic, I highly, highly recommend this. <clears throat> I still have not used um, all of these mods, or all the new spells from this mod, I should say. Um, the ones I have used, amazing. It really does uh, fit. It's not immersion breaking. It actually makes a lot of sense. And if you're doing magic, if you're playing a mage, I highly recommend it. As well as every school does damage. Or every school damage magic. Um, as you can see there, it adds things like allergen, um, sunlight blade, which is dope. I mean, it it's literally allow sunlight blade, literally allows you to play a paladin, um, being able to use basically a bound weapon, but without having to go conjuration. Because if you're a hardcore role player, um, and you want to make like a paladin or a cleric or like an acolyte, you know, vigilant of, of Stendar or something, and you don't want to use a mace because they're slow and they kind of all meh, you know. You want to use a bound weapon. Well, you don't want to use Conjuration because that, I mean, it's... It's the school of necromancy, let's be honest, right? So, instead of doing that, you have this wonderful Sunlight Blade spell that really does the job. I was really surprised when I found it. And uh, I actually found it by one of the vendors in the college there one of the teachers actually sold it and uh, I was like well what's this and uh, like I never got to use it before it's amazing it does amazing so I highly recommend that just to have a damage dealing uh, bound weapon in the school of restoration I mean it's, it's amazing for, for roleplay purposes and there's other ones there as you can see and I haven't scrolled all the way down here so I should probably do that for you <coughs> all right now the great cities again not really has to do with magic but it does affect winterhold and it does make winterhold look very good and i will show you that perhaps in another video um, and let you go through all the cities and whatnot but that's not what we were going to go through here um, magical college of winterhold now this to me this is huge um, So, when you go to college in Vanilla, it's alright. I mean, it's pretty interesting. You see some stuff. You know, it's, it's eh, you know, whatever. It's there. It definitely does. It definitely feels a part of, uh, apart from Skyrim. Uh, the rest of Skyrim. But, um, this mod. The description does not do it justice so I'm not really going to focus much on a description and these are just things to note down here uh, let's check out let's check the college out let's just see what's going on with it now this is one of the many mage characters that I've made uh, he's already been uh, the archmage so I can actually show you the archmage's quarters now I'm not 100% sure but I do believe that these got a bit of a boost when Feralda first lights them up they do look a little bit more prominent, right? You know, and there's nothing on the outside really. You don't really see anything on the outside of college that would suggest anything. Everything looks pretty basically the same. It all changes once you get inside, bro. Check this out. First off, walk through your double doors and let's just look at this outside for a second. This is absolutely beautiful. 90% sure he threw that in there to make that look as good as it did. The lights, 
incredible this thing. All right. Uh, that, that's, don't worry about that. It's a little bit of a bug. That's on my end. I loaded this uh, mod and it's had a couple mods deleted already. But he just threw this little garden in with a little shrine that you can turn on and off if you want. You have, turn it off. You're back to regular stuff, whatnot. Turn on the barrier. Boom! Look, shit is growing, son. It's like it. It's like some kind of alteration spell that allows this fauna to grow in these harsh conditions. And here we have uh, basically like an alchemist refuge. And um, I'm pretty sure that all of these ingredients respawn because I'm pretty sure I've picked them before. Um, but just look at the detail. You got a ledger. Okay, now it doesn't say anything. You know, various studies have been recorded, but I mean, for PS4, with its limited capacity for mods, this is pretty dope. You got notebooks, you know, just blank journal, study of alchemy, you know, stuff like people are working on stuff here. You got the herbalist guide to Skyrim, whatnot. You got your little boxes. Look at these little boxes, man. It's just it's too much for me. So that's dope, right? And you know, you see some more stuff around here, you know. But let's let's go inside the main doors here, the hall of the elements. This is where stuff starts to really get dope. Okay. Inside the hall. Nothing major, right? But, I mean, obviously you see these things glowing over here, you're wondering, what's this shit? Check it out. A mana font. Which refills your mana. Magic potions. Differently colored burning candles. A note on the font of pure magica. Same over here. What's this thing? Well, let's read about it. This statue is for the purpose of offensive magic. Use only simple spells. So you literally have a target to work on. And yes, this will build up your skill, destruction, or whatever. Another mon uh, mana font. Magic of font, I should say. I keep saying mana. Like this is Magic the Gathering or some shit pretty dope main hall entrance redone right let's try the arcanium first I'll show you the archmage quarters in a minute that's like the creme de la creme but the arcanium even looks fantabulous now immediately you guys should be going what the fuck this is how I'm so used to this mod my brain can't picture what vanilla looks like anymore because I have seen this so much. This looks like it should have been in the vanilla game. Soul gem converter. You take soul gem char uh, shards, you toss them in, right? And you make soul gems. Or you take soul gems and you crush them and make shards. Incredible. So all those shitty, useless soul gem uh, shards that you find vanilla, and they don't fucking do anything, and they sell for like one gold? Yeah, take them here, make a common soul gem out of them. Enchanting dust. What? Doesn't really do anything, but the fact that it's there. You got books, you got scrolls, you got two uh, arcane enchanter tables. You got two al three alchemy, uh, my bad, three alchemy tables. You got potions. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure this stuff re respawns after a while, but I've never touched it just because it's so perfectly done that there's no reason to. There's these little tablets just engraved on the walls, you know. This little book, all right, study alchemy. So it adds an effect. Get on your active effects. Alchemy studies. Because of your studies, craft the potions are 10% stronger. Last for an hour. That's incredible. 
but that's not the only study you can make. Check out the new arcanium. Check out the books. Check out the candles. Right? Is this dope? Does this look like wizardry? Yes, it does. And sorcery. You can recycle ruined books. I don't have any on me. If I showed you, if I could, I'd show you how that worked. Uh, I just, I don't want this video to be 10 hours long. It's already probably running on a little long as it is. But just look at this shit. This shit is beautiful. And you can study destruction. And that's not the only thing you can study. As a matter of fact, if you come over here, you can study every school of magic. And it does the same thing as your alchemy studies. Just apply it to those studies. From enchanting to conjuration, destruction, you name it, it's there. We have scrolls. You know, we've got regular old spell tomb, uh, spell tomes. Uh, just, just unbelievable detail. Unbelievable detail. Various books laying about. Uh, very, you know, potion recipes laying here as if people were in here studying. It's so immersive. I mean, it's just incredible the amount of work that went on. Uh, you can see uh, Urag and his, his desk. Um, he's got his uh, staff of fear down there. Bookcase. Um, just unbelievable detail and revamping of the college. And we're not done yet. I still have the Archmage's Quarters to show you. Uh, that is coming up next. Just give me a minute, and I'll head on up there, and we will check it out. I mean, this is incredible. I can go on for hours about this, but I don't want this video to be that long. So, Arch Base Quarters before was pretty dope. Okay, it was alright. Uh, this is incredible. And again, I, I'm, the reason why I'm so blown away is because this is PS4 stuff. This is this is the capabilities we have, uh, even with the restrictions applied to us, we can still make amazing things like this. I mean, look at this, look at this. This this is all uh, fertile soil, so you can uh, grow whatever you want to grow here. Uh, obviously, uh, just incredible detail, and I've said that so many times. You're probably tired of hearing it, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to keep saying it. Incredible detail. Well, here's the Archmage's Quarters. I mean, just absolutely incredible. There's your floating gem. I have not touched that for this RP playthrough. Look at this chamber. Spider eggs. The mixtures. How to do it. You know. And it's you can activate it and deactivate it here. Also, notice Staff Enchanter. What? Oh yes, we have one of those. Where you can take basic ass staffs and enchant them to be as you wish. And put whatever effects on there that you have uh, magically. Uh, this is just... These are the staffs that you can create. Look at this. Incredible. Incredible. Yes, this is a forge. This is a forge. Complete with tanning rack, dude. You don't ever have to buy another house in Skyrim. Workbench. Uh, these do not activate. That's just to let you know, basically as a sign, like, hey, stupid, this is your workbench area. Grindstone. Three safes. Boom. Wardrobe. Chests. Just uh, doubled up on the Archmage uh, robes and gear. Uh, and there's actually another one uh, that I have in my inventory, I believe, that was in there. Of course, you got your bed. Uh, uh, this, this coloration, I believe, this is on my end. I think I got something fucked up in my load order because it does the same thing with faces. So I got to go through that and fix that. But uh, Archmage bed. Uh, for this particular character, I wanted him to keep uh, the uh, main artifacts uh, that I found. So I kept the gold deer black blade, 
uh, ready was Bane, the staff of Golderson, and of course the uh, black bow. And that's what you can use your weapon, weapons racks for. I made this character to be kind of like the, uh, uh, a Sithari, if you will, collecting uh, ancient Sith-like artifacts, uh, or Daedric artifacts, whichever you want to call it. Yeah, stove, yeah, oven, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you can bake shit. And you can cook shit in the cooking pot. I mean, this Archmage's Quarters has more detail than a lot of the places in base game. I mean, it's just got so much going for it that, I mean, it's mind-blowing. I actually haven't even touched anything in here other than activating the, the weapons rack and whatnot just because why you know why fuck with it it's so beautiful this was done with the utmost care and attention and detail and love for lore um, for immersion I mean I cannot go on about this mod enough. Let's grab a little blessing here. This has been, beyond a shadow of a doubt, one of my most favorite immersion uh, mods that I've ever grabbed. And the reason why I don't think it's immersion breaking uh, is because this is this is magic. This is the capabilities of magic, especially in the Elder Scrolls universe. Uh, there's nothing in here that I look at and say, eh, don't think that would be there. Eh, it's a little uh, stretching it. I don't think that at all. I do not think that at all. And I do have mods that uh, that do stretch it. You know, I've got uh, this uh, Starfire Sword, which is a great mod if you're going to do anything as far as uh, Star Wars is concerned, right? Because it looks like a damn... Uh, closest thing you're going to get to a lightsaber. That's a mod for another time. Uh, I bring it up because I like my immersion breaking mods just as much as I like my immersion mods. So I know what I'm talking about and this is not immersion breaking at all. This is very immersive. This is very detailed and I've said that a million times I know but I just cannot stress that enough and I've said that a million times I also know but uh, just props 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 again you know this is something that I think everybody that's gonna do a mage playthrough needs especially if you're gonna go with the College of Winterhold uh, storyline and you're going to become the Archmage it actually makes that just a little bit more rewarding being the Archmage doesn't do as much as I would want it to do in the game but with this mod it really really helps it out it, it, it just it makes it feel just a little bit more rewarding when you when you finally uh, do it and <clears throat> again it's called magic uh, magical college of winterhold it's just fine um, he's got other versions it looks like here for the uh, for the Xbox One and the PC, which I'm sure are even greater, uh, I'm sure I'm sure they're even better uh, than this one. Um, but uh, man, it is so. I didn't even mention that scroll ca uh, crafting. I forgot to mention that, but it's in there. Um, just ah, uh, I, I can show you guys the halls of the elements and. I'm going to be honest with you, they're dope, but this is the crown jewel. Um, and this video has already gone on way too long anyway. Uh, if you guys want me to show the, the rest of it, um, I can. I also have another uh, mod that adds a new area to the midden, which I thought was pretty cool. If not a little bit much, but still pretty cool. But this is just highly recommended, especially for any type of mage playthrough. Uh, even if you're not a mage get it anyway and go check it out as a warrior might make you want to become one so yep that's it uh, let me know if you guys want to see the rest of it or not sorry that I rambled on so much uh, that's it that's my word